people pointing finger painting the world today is the day you guys it's sunday and i'm going to transform this baby into a beautiful garden so i'm off to the garden center filling in the negative space with positive I'm very excited. I'm at a new garden center with locally uh, grown. These are all the perennials. These are all over the place. What is this? Marcus Meadow Sage. And they grow huge. Come back year after year. I definitely think I'll get one. I've got to go get me a little cart. I don't know if you guys can hear me. But anyways, um, I was going to go to... A big box store and I just I remembered this and I was like you know what let me um, go there and I'm really happy I did because they have a lot of beautiful things here um, all the veggie garden veggies are to my left Dianthius believe it or not it is labeled as an annual but it does come in where I have them they do come back year after year so um, looks like they're a little light in the flower category that's okay because I'm not looking for um, flowers. I'm looking for veggies, which over here is where it's at for me today. But let's just take a look in here because I've never been here before. Pretty. Beautiful. And I guess that's the little cash register over there. I'll tell you, these mandevelas are quite expensive for $40 a piece. I don't know if they come back year after year because that is pricey for an annual, but what I will tell you is they grow up. So if you had, um, you know, some type of trellis uh, thing, they, they vine up the whole thing and it's quite beautiful on the side of a house. I have a friend who does it in a cross shape on the side of the house and it is beautiful but then again she's also dating a person who owns a nursery so she gets them for free because that's quite a lot for one one plant but they are they are gorgeous all right loves let me uh get my cart and um get looking around and i'll show you what i got when either here or when i get back to the house Well, you guys, I didn't get to do a video yesterday, but anyways, it's now Monday morning. Um, so I just spent some time planting. So I got some jalapenos. I've got a, one heirloom, um, the Cherokee purple right there in the front. I've got a big boy back there, a brandy wine, and then all the other little ones you see are my faves, the San Marzano's which are quite hard to get, and I was able to get a six-pack there for $2.95. Um, so I was happy with that. Um, there's some yellow crooked neck squash there, and I still have to do, find space for... I've got some cubanelles here. Again, don't mind my cruddy nails. I'm growing them out. And I've got some uh, bell peppers. And then this is my project plant. Look at this poor, poor tomato. I don't know if you guys know, but tomatoes are actually viners. In America, we train them up. Um, but they actually like to vine. So this would be the natural way it would go if it wasn't cared for. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to dig a hole long like that and deep and then lay it just so this part's up, but this part's in. But this is a cherry tomato, grape tomato. Um, like, yeah, I couldn't leave this wounded soldier behind. So... And I got some beautiful um, purple sage and some lavender. So I didn't buy that much. I spent about $25. Everything else will be done by seed. I'm not sure if I'm gonna plant the row of corn this year that I do. I never get corn, just I like watching it grow. Um, and you can use it in the fall for decorations. And my cucumbers, I'll do those by seed. There's no, there's no reason to pay a lot of money for those types of things. The only thing I, I try to buy, you know, I need to buy is generally tomatoes and peppers because, you know, they're Mediterranean. Uh, 
they like the heat and so by the time if I tried to do them by seed the whole growing season here would be behind me um, a lot of people with greenhouses and stuff they can achieve it I just can't I don't have the facility or uh, I've tried it believe me I've tried with no success so um, everything else we'll do by seed I can start probably putting some seed trays together and get them up on the um, get them up on the deck now that we have a deck and here's that beautiful lettuce I grew from seed I started that in March you barely see the little frog anymore two two things and I still haven't done anything with the asparagus I don't really know what to do I need to find it a spot for life because it's a perennial so I still have a lot to do here but at least I got part of it in okay so we're on our way have a good day